Hello, it's Sarah, and I am working on another Christmas ornament. This one is, I'm going to do the little snowflake. Just think it's adorable. I don't think I'm going to do this one. Um, all I'm doing right now is I had all these laser cut doilies in my stash. I, got, I think I got them on clearance last year. Um, and, you know, so they're just sitting there, and she actually, this is a, pr a project by Tracy Moreau, and these are her little, um, the ones she used, and I think they were from Michaels maybe last year, because I think this is when she did this pattern last year. It says the Michaels Crafts Recollections Wooden Round Lacy Tags. So they're little tags, maybe even... They have those wooden tags that you can put on um, mason jars. They're, they're all different shapes. Maybe they were in, they had a few Christmas ones last year, but I don't know. I looked and they didn't have them, but then I thought, well, I know I have some of those laser cut shapes. So I went and looked and there they were. So I have about 12 of them here. And so all I've done so far is um, I baste one side with light ivory, and then I baste the other side with honey brown. And now, and I'm using my brayer, and guys, this is really, if a brayer is a tool that you probably don't use very often, but I happen to have it, <laughs> and it's just nice to pull these tools out, and it really is doing the job here because this lattice or i'm sorry lattice it's basically it's a laser cut lace lacy pattern right i i had my brush first i was like just i'm like this is not going to work because every time you um drag the brush across the wood it would just go right into all those little nooks and crannies so i thought aha i'm going to try the brayer and it's been absolutely fantastic so um, I just wanted to turn on the camera and show you and I'll probably come back I'm not going to do a detailed um, tutorial of any floating or anything I'm just going to use my floating techniques the way I normally would and I'll share this little um, guy with you too I'll, I might as well um, yeah I'm getting ready for we're going to have a little holiday get together and this is actually a random act of kindness. That's what um, Tracy designed it for. So you could crank them out. And if you saw the video before this one, it was this little guy. And I have these are ready to be varnished. I just finished up three more. But these were little tags too. And um, so I'm just going to town. And I have like at least 12 of them. So I should have maybe 25 ornaments to gift or to do a random act of kindness. I really, really like the idea of just doing um, a really random act of kindness to a complete stranger. Like that really gets me happy when I think about that. Like just at the grocery store. You know what I do sometimes when I'm in the grocery store? Our grocery store has um, a lot of times the Acme over here has like either... Um, pottery that you can if you collect tickets for it or whatever I don't do it so I don't know what it is but they'll have like a certain brand maybe false scroff um pots and pans or not pots and pans but cooking plates and things like that so um once you collect enough tickets for it, you either get a discount or you can get it free. They also play Monopoly sometimes, so they'll have a Monopoly board, and you have to try and get um, Monopolies, you know, with the different uh, uh, streets. I don't know. Anyway, so I give mine to the person behind me a lot, and I just love it. And even when, and you know, because they're, if they're collecting them, because you can't, tell the cashier to give them to them you have to do it for some reason because I guess you know that would be like cheating if the cashier is just handing out random tickets anyway it does it's it is a 
it's kind of like a happy thing though. Some people who are collecting them, they get very excited when they get the extra tickets. So um, it, it just makes you feel good. So I let, and anything, anything that I can do sometimes when I'm out and about, like yesterday, there was a man, an older man, and he was looking for, oh, now I can't remember what they're called, twist pins. I think they're called twist pins. And I have them in my stash somewhere around here because when I'm doing steampunk stuff and everything, when I've seen them on clearance or whatever, because they're minor metal, it's like a metal tack that has a twist on the end. Instead of a straight tack, it has a twist. And you, they're for upholstery. It's like for, um, it's a tool that you uh, use to hold upholstery in place. Like say, he said he has... On his chair, he has a piece of fabric at the top, and it keeps coming off or whatever. So he just wanted this little twist pin, right? So I saw him in the aisle, and I'm like, what you looking for? You know, that's what I do. And um, <laughs> he's like, well, and he didn't know the name, and so I Googled it, and like we're looking and everything. And, I mean, it was fun. It was fun to look because basically, usually... If I see someone in the craft store that's looking for something, I can usually find it for them because I know where everything is because I think I've done pretty much every every craft there is. So um, I do that a lot too. And that's why, like, I should probably just get a job at Michael's or AC Moore, but it it I don't want my, my crafty store that I like to go browse in to become my job because then it wouldn't be as fun. Uh, I'm weird like that. But, um... I just like, like, so I just help people, like, I'll, you know, and it's the holidays right now. Actually, I'll tell you one more story, and then I'll, <laughs> there was this lady in there, and I wasn't even, like, I was just looking at these, actually. I was looking at the Christmas aisle of, to look for the tags. That's when I was looking for the tags, and she's talking to her husband, I guess, about getting a dog, right, and I'm not paying, you know, I mean, I can hear them, but I'm not looking at them or anything. I'm just looking for what I'm looking for. And he gets a phone call and he goes outside and then she just starts talking to me after he walks away. She's like, you know, and she starts telling me that she has stress. She's, she's a bus driver or a transit driver and that now dogs are actually can be covered under your insurance for stress relief. And so I'm like, oh my gosh. And you know, so we start talking and you know, she's like, because I'm so stressed out, and, you know, I'm like, I get it, and, and the holidays are stressful, and I have my dog, and I said, dogs definitely make you happy, you know, I said, they, when I look at her, she just makes me happy, my little dog, so, you know, we're just talking, but then I just ended up saying to her at the end, um, I said, well, listen, I know there's a lot of negativity out there, but there's also a lot of positivity, and I think people forget about all the good things in their lives and it's not you know at, you know that it can be right in your face so you have to push it away you have to turn turn off YouTube negativity turn off Facebook negativity and just focus on positive things and all of a sudden you can train yourself to think positive and look how beautiful that is it's all gorgeous and gold I don't know if you can see it um but yeah, so, and, and I hugged her, and I gave her a hug, because I was like, it's, you know, I said, you're going to be okay, but like, you have to teach yourself to, to be positive, just literally, like, don't even go to negativity, just always focus on positivity, there's any little thing there could be, you know, a beautiful day, you know, anything, so, all right, that's my little speech for today, uh, but so I'm loving this random act of kindness thing. I'm going to come back when I'm all done and we'll put our little snowman face on. I'm going to do another coat of the white, but you don't need to watch me do that. And then I'll be back um, when I put my little snowmans on the front. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got a little carried away. <laughs> I put on Ellen and I just got going and look how cute they are. I think they're adorable. They turned out so cute. I got to varnish the back still. Um, I, it's so simple. So I'm going to take you guys through it. I finished all, this one was actually perfect for the pattern. That circle was the exact size of the pattern. 
And then I had these little bows. These are Recollections bows that I had, I think, from last year, and I found them, so I had 10 of these little Christmas bows. So I put them on the bottom, and I just think they look adorable. This is the other style of doily. And I mean, it fits, it's a little bit bigger circle and it's a little wonkier, but I think it looks cute. So I'm gonna do one of them. And aren't they super cute? All right, so I have a desk full of wonderfulness. I'm gonna put these out of the way. And I brought this one in. So all I did was base coated it with uh, light buttermilk. And I'm gonna get going and I'm just gonna do it all much quicker than I did yesterday <laughs> than the, the other one. So the first thing I'm going to do is shade around the whole entire outside of the, of the snowflake with, this is Bahama Blue. So it's a very light blue. I'm using my big uh, angle brush to do this, and I'm going to use a float technique. And I'm going to just go from each of these little... Um, teardrops all the bristles on the surface and try to kind of connect the bases to get it to be a circle it was much easier on the other the cutouts were so in line that I could totally I mean this is this works out pretty good too it was a little wonky on a couple of them um, you know what you want to make sure you sand your surface uh, after base coating give it a little sanding and your paint should just slide right across. See, but see how that's like angled a little? It's not as round. I don't think anybody's gonna mind. Because I'm an eyeballer, I like to wing it. So that's the little glow on the outside. And then I'm gonna go to my smaller brush because I really have a heavy hand. So I'm going to use the smaller angle brush, the 5 8 inch angle brush. And we're going to float some Prussian blue down this edge. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and paint my carrot. See, I don't want to touch that float. So I just like to skip around the piece so that I don't put my brush in. So I'm going to use pumpkin, orange. And we'll just base in the carrot nose first. And I didn't trace on all the lines because I'm just going to, really I only need the nose because everything else is really so basic and simple. But to get that nose placement is important and then you don't have to worry about anything turning out wonky. So I'm going to take my, I think that's probably dry, my smaller angle brush and use Prussian blue this time which is a bit darker but I really want to keep it soft. I don't want to go too wide. Let's see. Just loading my brush and I'm going to slide it along this left side here. All the bristles on the surface and kind of swoosh it into there. And it just gives a little shadow. I'm going to do, see I don't, I need to let that dry. What can I do in the meantime? Because um, I have to let it dry between floats. I really just don't want to mess anything up. I could use my um, heat gun to dry it. But I'm just going to go back into that same runway that I just had and really try and keep this small, which is hard for me because I'm a heavy hand, and go right across under his eyes, and I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's a little bit big. And then we're gonna come back with the asphaltum, which I'm using um, bar burnt umber with the same little angle brush. I think I'm good now to go um, right over that same float. I'll put this one in the picture too so you can kind of see it changes it, changes the color slightly and I like it a lot. So I'm going to go into the burnt umber, really try and keep it soft so not a lot of paint 
and do the same kind of pushing up against that edge and I'll just pull it over towards there. So see it's like a double layer of shading and I want to do the same thing above the eye. I think I'll be okay. I don't think I'll run into the other um, shoot. So I'm just going to go right over what I just did and that part's done. We can put the eyes, actually I think I'm going to put his cheek on first before I do the, um, the black coal dots and to do that I'm using a dry brush. This is a Sue Shui, now who's this? Debbie Cole. So I'm going to go into my red, a little bit of red, and you pounce it on your surface. You kind of get the red to go into the bristles, and I'll take a dry paper towel and actually wipe it off. And then you're just going to gently scrub in a cheek, very gently. And, then, and it, it'll just build and build and build. And I have a lot of dry red paint on here, but that's good. Then we're going to, I think I'm going to do my carrot one more coat. So a little more orange. Probably didn't need it, but because I'm going to shade it and we're going to add a little bit of snow on top of it. I'm going to get my little tiny brush. Now, she actually, in the directions, this is a Tracy Moreau pattern. She said put dip dots, but I think coal is a, it's not a, um, I don't know why, this just whatever. I like to put my coal in like this, and I just kind of tap it in like this because coal is not a total spherical shape. It can be, it's actually square a lot of times, and so you can make it however you want. And I actually added one extra she only had four coals in, for the mouth, but I added one extra over here to kind of make it look a little more smiley. And I'm going to give him eyebrows. i got to try and get this really thin. And he has little eyebrows right here. And we're going to shade the nose, and that's pretty much it. We're like done. But what I also decided to do was I did a little float around the very edge of this. I don't even know if you can tell, but I used the um, pearl. It's Martha Stewart. I'm just going to shake it. Martha Stewart multi-surface pearl, um, and this is called, I think it's on the side somewhere. Oh, here it is, mother of pearl. So this is just white, basically but it's got a pearlized um, finish to it. And I just take my big angle brush and load it up with this really nice and thick. And I took it and I just put it all around the edge. So this outside edge. And it just adds, it, it's, first of all, it's very white because I base coated it with light buttermilk so it's not a white snowflake. So this is like a highlight and a shine at the same time. And then what I loved what Tracy did, which I didn't do, I used my um, sparkle varnish, but she actually takes the, the snowflake and puts a little matte medium on it or decoupage medium and dips it in glitter which I just thought I have to try that at some point because that just sounds yummy and super cute. But because I just have this glitter varnish, I just did it that way. So here's the, so there's that with that kind of extra. And you could put it along the side of the face or wherever you want it. It's, it's your little ornament. But I didn't actually put it anywhere else. I ended up, I spattered with white, just plain white. And um, I like how that turned out. So you know what I'm going to do real before I uh, shade my nose, I'm going to just take this tracing line off a little bit. And that's it. Um, so it's with burnt umber that she actually shades the carrot. 
and I did it with two flutes, but you don't need to. You could go down here, oops, I have a hair, and along the bottom. And that's basically it, but I like mine to be dark. I'm, I'm a dark shader, so I'll just put a little more there. But see, I took it off. And then you can put, I mean, you could put little lines in it if you want, but then there's a little bit of snow. I'm going to use, I'm just going to use light buttermilk. Um, no, I'm going to use white, straight white. Because again, it's a highlight. Like it, it actually. Oh, sorry, I have my, I have my brush in my mouth. Um, but this is a highlight, so I'm using the white white, and I'm just gonna kind of tap it in. Let my nervous hand make it kind of look drippy like that. And we're gonna use that same color with a tiny little stylus to make the eye highlights right up in the corner and you can highlight um, the little mouth ones too I'm just gonna put one on the cheek so right here and it's pretty much oh okay then she had a couple little leaves I'm gonna do um, where's my green I'm using medium foliage and I think I might just add a little bit of Let's see. And I'm using a small, like a number four filbert, which is kind of beat up. But I can just make a leaf with this. And maybe a little, this is black green. There we go. I had some in there. I just had to open the little crust. I know I'm zoomed in, but all right. Now I can double load and see how you get a double. Okay. A couple just I'm trying to keep them small and it's hard for me to make small things I mean that's a little weird looking but it's cute enough I have some red out here I want to see if it um, it's all dried up I think it might have a skin on it too see so I have this but usually when you make a dip dot you want a fresh puddle the fresher the puddle the better so I'm just gonna top this off a little with a when you make a dip dot using a stylus it really makes the best you get the best result when you have um, where did I put the stylus now oh it's in the water um, I don't know that I want to make them as big. Like on this one, that's not that big. It's kind of small. All right, so I'm going to go and just kind of dot it. One, two, three. So they, it makes them vary a variation in size. And then she did this little spriggle. I call it a spriggle with the green so I can actually just take I don't have a liner I'm gonna order one this is it is a this is a number one round but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go to artist club I'll show you at the end of the video um, but I'm just gonna take this and go as gently as I can make a little it's not as thin as I want it because I can't get this brush to make as thin a line as I'd like and now I've watered it down so much. But that's cute. One side's way darker. Um, pretty much that's it. And then I just took some of that um, pearl paint and added it to the top of the snow here to give it shine. And that's basically it. Then I um, spattered it with white. And I'm not going to do that on camera. And this is what you end up with. Just took a little, after I, I'm going to varnish it with the glitter varnish, sign my name on the back, and 
voila, you have a little snowman ornament. I mean, it's a snowflake. So cute. All right, so let me show you. So that was Tracy Moreau. Moreau. It was her last year's spreading Christmas cheer. Um, her little rack from last year. So I did both now. I have, ta-da. I love, they're super cute. This is going to be an ornament or a pin. This one's an ornament, but the ones I just did, well, no, I lied. These are going to be pins. Nope. They're around here somewhere. <laughs> All right, I wanted to show you this. This is the Artist Club. Um, I'm going to zoom back up. Artist Club is a great online source for painting um, supplies. And... Back in the day, I mean, they were one of the only ones. Now, I mean, you know, you can you can get stuff pretty much everywhere. But uh, Artist Club ha is where I've gotten a lot of the free download patterns. They do sell surfaces as well. So if you if you like the ornaments, you can order the set of three ornaments. Um, the wood is four nineteen. So I think, and I love Maxine Thomas, and I have a lot of her books. She's up to, here it is, um, Country Primitives, 18. She's written 18 books. I have probably up to 12 or 13, and then I took a painting break. But I'm going to get this one because it has tons of ornaments. It has these four ornaments, these three. These little scenes are just, her, I love her style. I'm going to zoom in. It's very antique -y and old looking, but I love her, her design. So I'm going to get those. I'm going to get that. And then there was something else I wanted to get. I'm going to get a liner brush. These, this, this one. I think I'm going to get um, Renee Mullins Win Winter Whimsy Volume 4 because she also has, I love these Santas. They're ornaments. There's angels. These little woodland creatures. I love it. So I'm going to order those. I just feel inspired right now to paint. And maybe like over the year I'll do painting. Like I'm going to try in 2017 to be a little more regimented with my um, crafting. So I, you know, I'm going to skip around. But I think I'm going to come. I want to try and come back to things on a regular basis so you guys can kind of know what to expect. So anyway, um, I will put the, uh, the the link to Artist Club in the description box because they have an online shop as well. And also Tracy, I will put her Facebook link so that you guys, if you're interested, in my last video I did this little Santa guy. This is a pin, ha ha. <laughs> This is going to be a pin. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.